Today, we're going to be taking a look at five legendary commanders that I think they should add to Rise of Kingdoms. What's going on, guys? Cheers. That always gets everywhere. Look, Lilith, okay, I get it. I get it. It's difficult to be so creative for so long, okay? It's a tough job, and I know you guys need a break, okay? So your boy Omniarch has got you. No worry, I got you guys, okay? I got you. I'm gonna show you guys five commanders, okay? Five legendary commanders that I think you should add to Rise of Kingdoms, and I'm gonna go as far as to tell you the types of skills that I think these commanders should have. I swear, if you use any of these ideas and you don't get and you don't reach out to me and give me credit for something, I'll call my lawyer. We'll be on the first plane to Hong Kong, okay? Don't think I won't. All right, I'll make you guys a deal. All right, if you're watching this video and you see a legendary commander that you want them to add into the game, go down there and drop a like on the video. And while you're down there, click that sub button. About 80% of you guys are not subscribed, so it helps the channel a ton. Thank you. And without further ado, let's start. Omniarch's commander wish list. Starting at number five, we have Hattori Hanzo. I know, I know, I pronounced it terribly, okay? I get it. We're just gonna call him Hanzo, okay? His nickname was Demon Hanzo. He was a famous ninja of the Sengoku era who served the Tokugawa clan as a samurai credited with saving the life of Tokugawa Ayasu. I'm so sorry. I'm, if you're Japanese, I'm sorry. And then helping him to become the ruler of United Japan, he is often a subject of varied portrayal in modern popular culture. Hanzo was known as an expert tactician and a master of sword fighting i just think we should have more ninjas more samurais all that shit is badass to me so like what's going on why don't we add this guy he's a badass as you can see here i have him as an infantry skill versatility commander that you get from the wheel of fortune i didn't come up with a cool name for these skills okay so forgive me but i think if, if we have an infantry based samurai i think that would be badass right so i try to think of what's a cool thing that he could do well he could have an active skill with a rage requirement of a thousand he deals a single target damage factor of 1700 and disarms the target for two seconds so that would be like the same thing that el cid does and the same thing that herman does combined into one skill for two seconds i think that would be really powerful i know that doesn't sound crazy but i feel like that would be really good so you don't take two normal attacks you don't take any skill damage if there were to go off in that moment and then when you expertise hanzo he would get a 1900 damage factor disarm the target for two seconds and also deal an extra 15 percent damage to cavalry units for those two seconds i don't know maybe that's op okay maybe it's op i don't know i'm imagining him having some sort of infantry and defense attack bonuses on another skill that's a passive i think that would be super cool and honestly lilith add more samurais add more ninjas and we'll be happy I, I think i speak for everyone right i think so moving on to number four we have robin hood robin hood seems like a shoe in right now i know pretty much all the commanders here in rise of kingdoms there's like a really good account of them existing in real life and i think maybe mulan is like kind of the only one that's like you know like of course there's like i don't know i feel like the mulan you and i know is not really like if if there was someone who was really Mulan right a female warrior I feel like she's nothing like the Mulan that you and I think of when we think of Mulan right so I feel like we're thinking of a fictional portrayal of somebody right and so I think Robin Hood's kind of the same thing where it's like it's it's hard for historians to really pinpoint a specific Robin Hood it's not really like you know is it real I don't know but still I feel like Robin Hood would be a really cool commander to add into rise of kingdoms and I think it would fit the theme really well I think nobody would really argue that he sort of belongs here right I mean come on right so this one for you archer gang i think they should add robin hood as an archer skill conquering commander from the wheel of fortune his active skill would have a rage requirement of a thousand that says deal damage to up to five targets in a forward facing contract area with a damage factor of 1200 and apply one stack of poison to each target for every target that took damage of course damage is decreased by 15 percent for each target and stacks last five seconds but timers refreshed every time a new stack is added so these stacks of poison would function exactly as tomi's stacks currently work however with his skill it's an aoe so let's say you're in the open field and you're in a one-on-one -on -one, right you deal your 1200 damage factor and you apply one stack of poison to that target it's not that crazy right it's, it's really nothing and you're only going to do that once every 10 seconds so that stack's going to go away by the next time it happens but let's say you hit two targets with his aoe right now both targets get two stacks of poison and if you hit three targets 
all three targets get three stacks of poison so this goes up to five so you can do a fan shaped area that hits five targets and immediately applies five stacks of this poison and just so you guys if you don't remember one stack is equal to increase of three percent skill damage taken for that target obviously these stacks would go away if they only last five seconds by the time that robin hood's next active skill goes off however if you have multiple robin hoods out in the open field and it's a big murder ball you would just be spreading poison like absolute crazy so maybe this is actually overpowered but i don't know i just you'd see what i'm going for here right i think this would be super cool and then when he's expertise you would change that to a circular shaped area with a damage factor of 1500 and then apply two stacks of poison for every target that's hit so if you hit five targets then all of those targets immediately get 10 stacks of poison and i think i again i just think that there should be some way to aoe spread poison i think that would be super cool i think it would be probably pretty broken but i don't know i think it's a cool mechanic that rise of kingdoms just sort of isn't really like looking at too much you know what i mean i don't know maybe i'm crazy maybe this is just like way too broken but listen i'm not a game developer okay i'm just the ideas guy i'm, I'm making up the ideas lilith if you take these ideas test them in the open field first okay don't make them broken like you did with Attila Takeda you guys clearly did not test Attila Takeda before you put them in the game so clearly you know test this make sure I'm not completely insane but I think something like this would be pretty cool all right number three on the list of Omniarch's wish list for legendary commanders we have Lapu Lapu this is a Filipino warrior he's best known for the bottle of Maktan that happened at dawn on April 27th 1521 where he and his warriors defeated the forces of Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan and his native allies Raj Raja Humab Hum, Humaban and Datu Zula I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry monuments of Lapu Lapu have been built all over the Philippines to honor Lapu Lapu Lapu's bravery against the Spaniards and I'm pretty sure the image here is from Mobile Legends Bang Bang I'm not I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure he's he's a player that you could play as in that game so here I have Lapu Lapu as a leadership support garrison commander that you would get from the expedition shop in a similar way that you get Ethel Flood so you would replace Ethel Flood with Lapu Lapu okay his active skill introduces a new mechanic to the game all right so bear with me rage requirement of a thousand and that's going to be for all these commanders so don't worry about that active skill it says troops led by this commander gain a skill shield converting all skill damage taken into healing factor with a max of 2000 and increased normal attack damage by 30 percent for four seconds meanwhile a nearby allied troop with the lowest percent of units remaining gain a shield with a damage factor of 600 for two seconds so same sort of shield as alexander is giving a army nearby but i think the idea of a shield that doesn't just you know prevent damage it basically converts skill damage into healing factor i think that's just really cool right and that could be broken it could be overpowered because right now aoe is super powerful in the open field and so if you're just you know when this active skill goes off you have a four second window where not only are you not taking any skill damage but every piece of skill damage that you're getting up to 2000 is getting turned into healing factor at the end of that four seconds i think that's just it's a cool mechanic it's something that i think maybe Lilith can explore maybe this is too broken maybe this is too powerful i'm not really sure but then i added with the expertise just to make it even more broken i said we keep the shield the same except you increase normal attack damage by 40 percent for four seconds and two nearby allies get that small shield so really it's just going i'm playing off of the idea of him defending his people right he's not taking damage he He's surviving he's healing he's supporting his allies and protecting them i think that would just be a really cool uh you know uh, mechanic to put into the game uh on a commander like lapu lapu and again he's leadership so it doesn't matter what type of troops he has he could be a support commander you can put him in a garrison i don't know what the rest of his skills really look like again i just kind of threw this list together this is just coming off the top of the head here but i don't know i think lapu lapu would be a really cool commander to add to rise of kingdoms and i think a lot of players would appreciate uh them sort of paying homage to his legacy all right we're really coming down to the wire now we are looking at number two on omniarch's commander wish list we have none other than subutai again i'm i'm so sorry I, I probably pronounced that terribly and this is a commander that unlike the previous three you may have actually never heard of this guy before or maybe it's subutai I, I don't know but either way he was a mongolian general and the primary military strategist of genghis khan he directed more than 20 campaigns and won 65 pitched battles during which he conquered or overran more territory than any other commander in history as part of the expansion of the mongol empire but here's the part 
part about him that makes him really interesting and why they should definitely add him to rise of kingdoms he was one of the first mongol generals besides genghis khan who realized the value of engineers in siege warfare even in field battles he made use of siege engines much as chinese armies had in their own wars and i don't know about you but i want a new thing to do with all of my siege units okay i want a new use for all of them they're usually just gatherers and that's pretty much it and then they die when i throw them in a flag just to kind of use them as fodder so i think it would be cool if we had a way to actually use them to fight in the open field and who else has a better commander than subutai right okay so i have him here as a leadership support conquering commander that you get from the mightiest governor event his active skill says removes all control slow down poison exhaust and other debuffs from troops led by this commander while on the map and at the same time deals damage in a forward facing fan shaped area up to five targets with a damage factor of 1400 damage to each target is reduced by 15 percent for each additional target this skill deals additional damage to city garrisons and watch towers with a damage factor of a thousand so as you can see this is a bit more powerful than Mehmed's active skill but it also incorporates part of the active skill of Kusunoki by removing all of those debuffs now I know that sounds super overpowered and, and maybe it is but remember he's gonna be having siege units right so because of that his passive skill says when troops led by this commander consist of only siege units increase defense by 30 percent health by 30 percent and march speed by a hundred percent while on the map siege units led by this commander are immune to all march speed reduction effects okay so the, the the thought process behind this skill here was to avoid him being overpowered in garrisons because everybody just you know the siege meta for garrisons i just i don't know it's just for me that doesn't i don't like it a whole bunch right it's cool that it's like a use for your siege i get that but i think you know unless we incorporate that on the map thing here this would just be completely broken and nobody would be happy about it right so that's important right but also remember guys siege units are incredibly slow by default and they are automatically taking more damage from literally every other troop type in the game they're literally weak to every other troop type so by having this skill i know this sounds super broken and again maybe it is i'm not a game dev and i don't know anything about game testing but the reason that this seems more powerful than any other passive skill is because it's compensating for the fact that siege units inherently have that sort of flaw to them and then he's got that really powerful active skill now what they do with the other two skills i don't know maybe increased troop capacity when leading rallies you know some sort of basic stuff to balance him out a little bit but i think this i don't know just to me again i just want to have a commander that would be a, a good use for siege in the open field even as sort of like a gimmick right even as just something that you could you could kind of use with a certain combination i don't know I, I just think it would be cool and who better than him finally the moment you've all been waiting for the number one commander Commander on Omniarch's wish list for Rise of Kingdoms commanders is none other than Vlad the Impaler. I mean, come on, it's basically Dracula, right? It's basically having Count Dracula in the game. And who's more badass than somebody with Impaler in his name? Like he's known for being just brutal and vicious. Like that's super badass. So for those of you who don't know Vlad the Third or Vlad the Impaler, as he's popularly known by, is a national hero of Romania. He and his younger brother were held as hostages in the Ottoman Empire in 1442 to secure their father's loyalty. Now we He's got a whole history and backstory from parts of the world that i personally don't really know much about so i'm not here to talk to you about all that stuff but he was called the impaler because he he plundered the saxon villages and took the captured people back to Wallachia and impelled them. Basically, that's what he was known for. Either way, pretty badass, am I right? So I think they should add him to Rise of Kingdoms. And honestly, I have him as a cavalry attack conquering commander that you get from the Mightiest Governor event. And I do implement a new mechanic, a new buff, with this commander so in order to understand his active skill we have to first read his passive skill and it says well this is going to be just one of his one of his three skills right it's going to say normal attacks have a 50 percent chance to add a stack of bloodlust to self up to 10 times so you can get up to 10 stacks here stacks last five seconds but the timer is refreshed each time a stack is added so sort of like how poison works but it's on it's on you and for each stack increase normal attack and counter attack damage by three percent okay so you can stack this up to 10 times which gives you 30% normal attack and 30% counter attack damage, right? But then we look at his active skill, okay? And it says for the next five seconds, cavalry troops led by this commander gain 20% attack, 20% defense, 30% increased damage, and at the same time, remove stacks of bloodlust with a maximum of five and heal self by 150 healing factor times the number of stacks removed. So if you have, you know, let's say 
five or more stacks by the time that this active skill goes off which you likely will because it'll be after 10 seconds and there's a 50 percent chance of gaining one for uh every normal attack so you probably will have up to 10 uh 10 stacks of bloodlust right you remove up to five of them and you get 750 healing factor right which i think is maybe that's broken okay again maybe that's broken i'm not here to balance these commanders i'm just here to give you guys some general ideas but i'm sort of playing on the idea here that he's a vampire right and the way that I, the way that i think about it is that um as he's attacking he's sort of like stealing their life right because he's building up these stacks and then he's using it to heal himself down right sort of like sucking blood from his enemies which i think is really cool right i think that's kind of just badass i don't know like what what, what lilith like are you hearing me is this thing on like what are you doing this is this is gold here people are gonna pay money for this i mean seriously i will accept cash uh wire transfer paypal apple pay venmo cash app lilith whatever you want to send me for this genius idea you let me know i think this would be super cool and again i think this is just a badass commander that a lot of people would like to have in the game but guys now it's your turn i want you to put in the comment section below the number one commander that you want them to add into rise of kingdoms i would love to hear from you guys i think this is just it's always fun to speculate as to who's coming into the game who could they potentially add and and these are just five that i think would have a really unique impact on the game right i tried to you know come up with some new mechanics some things we haven't seen before right we've got siege commanders okay we've got a new skill damage converting shield we've got a commander that does aoe poison right these are just things that we haven't seen before right and then we just have hanzo who's just a badass ninja just pounds a single target into the ground absolutely demolishes them with his damage factor i i don't know i just try, again i tried to come up with some cool commanders that maybe you've heard of or things that you think would be cool to be added into the game but again i want to hear you in the comment section below who do you want added to the game i'm always down there reading your comments responding and it, it's always a good time of course if you made it to the end of the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it who knows maybe lilith will actually see this video and take some of my ideas if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord facebook it's always down below as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and it's my favorite way to play the game downloading with my link helps the channel absolutely for free and again you get to see the game on a bigger screen if you don't like it you can always uninstall it later but i honestly it's great with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace